Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. In this video, we will learn how to get prepared for your project defense with these common questions and tips. Project defense can be very easy once you completely understand your research work and are prepared for the questions. During the defense, the panel of assessors will ask you questions to test your knowledge of the research subject matter, depth of your work, the results and conclusions you arrived at. The questions that would be asked will fall within these four categories. What is your research project about? What did you do? What did you find? Why does that matter? Some tips of thesis defense. Project defense tips 1. Be academically, mentally and physically prepared for your presentation. 2. Practice, practice and practice. Rehearse several times with the equipment you will use for your presentation. 3. Have a thorough understanding of the nature of your research problem. 4. Make eye contact with more than one member of the panel of assessors during the course of your presentation. 5. Don't speak too fast talk calmly with confidence. 6. Bring a copy of your project report with you for reference. In a project defense you are expected to Present yourself as a scholar in the discipline and an authority on your subject. Cogently and clearly explain your work. Have a conversation with the panel of assessors. Defend any idea that might be disagreed upon. Question number one. Why did you choose this topic? This might be the first question you will be asked. And you need to have a good response. You should talk about the motivations for the study. Talk about the research problem you wanted to address which made you embark on the study. Question number two. Briefly, explain what your research project is all about. To respond to this question, you need to fully understand your research project. Basically, be able to repeat your abstract. Question number three. What is the scope of the study? Here you briefly state the specific aspects of your project topic that was covered. Question number 4. What is the significance of the study? To answer this question, you will need to state how your research work will help other researchers, educators, organizations, like the case study used, practitioners and policymakers. Question number 5. Did you bridge any gap from your study? Here you should talk about how your study addressed the existing problems, concerns that made you carry out the research. Question number 6. What are your research variables? This question is asked in order to find out if you really know what your research project is all about. Explain your independent and dependent variables to show them you really grasp the concept of your research topic. Identify the variables in your project topic. Define and explain them. Question number 7. What research methodology did you use? This is usually the chapter 3 of your project report. To respond to this question, you should briefly state the research design procedure you adopted for the research. Talk about the data collection methods and sampling techniques employed in the research. Question number 8. Why did you use that research methodology? This is where you state the reasons for the choice of research methodology used. For example, if you used the survey research method, you can state reasons such as, no interviewer bias, cost effective, it enabled you, the researcher, to collect information from the sample without influencing the population of the study. Question number 9. Why do you think your research is reliable? To answer this question, simply tell your audience, panel of assessors that the threats to research reliability, which are participants error, participant bias, research error, and researcher bias, did not occur during the research. Or you can simply say that you made sure the threats were reduced to the barest minimum. Question number 10. Why do you think your research is valid? To answer this question, simply tell your audience, panel of assessors that the findings from your study can be generalized to other relevant settings, group or case study. Question number 11. In what ways does your research project contributes to knowledge? This question is similar to your significance of the study. 
You should talk about how your research is aimed at addressing a problem that was not addressed by previous researchers in your field of study. You should also briefly state how your project will advance understanding in your research field. Question number 12. What are the limitations encountered? No research project is perfect. It is common for at least one limitation to be identified. To answer this question, talk about the weaknesses that were out of your control. You can talk about how weaknesses such as the short time frame for the research, lack of research studies, materials on the topic, lack of available data, the combination of lectures, exam and project research, limited sample size and selection, etc., impacted the analysis of your research data. Question number 13. What source of data was employed for the research? Here, you simply state the data collection methods that were used in the study. You should state if primary sources such as questionnaires, interview, observation or secondary sources such as textbooks, journals, articles, etc., were used. If you combined primary and secondary sources, briefly talk about it. Question number 14. What are your findings? Show the descriptive results from the study in a convincing and clear style. Make sure your findings refer to your research objectives, questions. Question number 15. Based on your findings what are your recommendations, suggestions? This is where you talk about the importance and implications of your findings from three levels namely. 1. Research. Various ways other researchers can improve or refine the study too. Theory. The new contributions that you are adding to the body of knowledge. 3. Practice. How the information gotten from your study can make practice better, improve the operational procedures, solve problems, improve policy making etc. What questions do you have for us? You can ask them if there are any revisions they want you to make in your report. Ask them to summarize the major revisions, so you can take some notes. Do you have any closing comments? Thank the panel of assessors and let them know that the revisions, corrections that were given, such as rewriting the conclusion, tables, graphs that are not in the right format, something you said during the defense and they want you to include it in the report or some other issues they noticed you did not capture, would be implemented and shown to your supervisor.